Welcome brothers and sisters, welcome to a new video of Triple Grace. And today I will show you what the Lord has shown me in a vision during the night. He has shown me conduits that came down from heaven. Like what you are here, see here, but it was like a long pipe and it was closed at the end when it reached the earth. And people were looking and searching for the machine to open these conduits that will lead to heaven. But when you came to the place where such an apparatus would stand, where it would be the control panel to open up that conduit, there was an empty space. So that means this conduit could only be opened from heaven and not from earth. No matter how much time the people spend to look for any mechanism to open this conduit <coughs> to heaven, brothers and sisters, they could not find it because it was not there. It was removed. What will the Lord tell us, brothers and sisters? There are so many people who are saying now, oh, we will go at this day and then that day and we'll come at this day and at that day. But at the end, only God is in control. And at the end, God will open the conduits and will take the escape of the innocent. We are definitely in the time frame. And I'm preaching that for a long time, saying that the innocent will go. And many people have come against me because of that. But I will still continue to say the children will go. The Lord can open such a conduit any minute now. And he can take out the children and the innocent. So do not worry if it's not today. Then it might be tomorrow or even in a minute or in one hour. The timing is not the question. We know that it will happen. We also know that the time has come for the first holy places to establish. And I have also good news. Our place is also ready. So by the 24th of the uh, Feast of First Fruits, we will start and begin with everything. So no matter if there are mockers and scoffers and if there are people who come and say, oh, this timing is wrong and that timing is wrong, I do not care. Because what I'm preaching is not that I will go into the escape of the innocent. What I'm preaching is that I will remain and that I will bring in the harvest of the ages. And that doesn't matter if the escape of the innocent was before I started or after I started. It does not make any difference. And you brothers and sisters are also called as the end time apostles to stay here and to bring in the harvest of the ages. Yes, a few will go for sure. But the majority will stay. And then you can choose either to fall into lethargy and to, to stay and mourn and weep in a fallen world. Or you join the end time movement of the Lord and you become an end time apostle and you will bring in the harvest of the ages. Either you stay on the side of the light or you will stay on the side of darkness. Just watch our daily prophetic word from yesterday about the duality and the twins and the little boys that are from the Lord. The time is here, brothers and sisters. No matter if it's today, tomorrow, or in one week. Does it matter? But it will happen. And we are ready, and so you will also be ready to have your first holy place established, where you will gather the first disciples together, train and teach them as a royal priesthood, and then together in unity, you will go into the neighborhoods to bring in the harvest of the ages. So the dream of the conduit was only telling us that we are not in control, and we cannot say when and how, only God can do that. That's the reason why there was no mechanism here on earth to open the conduits. No matter what, no prayer, no nothing will open it. Only God will open it. God will make a decision when. And if you cannot stay with it, then you have still your human thinking in, inside of you. You are not thinking about the kingdom of heaven. Because then, when you have the 100% focus on the kingdom of heaven, it really doesn't matter when it will be opened. We know they will be opened. And also, if the Lord sees that many people say, yes, we know all this, then he might even come sooner than we think. 
but we also know that the escape of the innocent will be mainly for the children and the innocent, the ones under the age of accountability, what I believe, personally believe, they are around four to five years old. And for a few people who have made themselves ready, but not many. Most of them will remain. And great problem will start, great weeping will start. When the children disappear, what do you think, what will happen here on earth? Great chaos will come onto this world. And therefore we have to stand as a light in the darkness, as a rock in the storm. I have made a video about that, watch it. Now I thank you Lord that you have given me that dream about the Kundis and that you have shown that we are not in control, but you are in control. And no matter who says, oh, you are a false prophet because you are not giving us the right dates and you are a false prophet because you see the children are going, but they are not going. The Lord says they will go, but at his timing and in his will and not mine or yours. So come away from all this, come away from your human thinking, come out of the world and out of Babylon, focus on heaven and say, yes, Lord, for me, it's already done. And now let me focus on to the next thing. What happens after? Let me be prepared to be the rock in the storm and to be the light in the darkness and to bring in the harvest of the ages and to bring as many people to righteousness as possible. So do not focus on dates. Do not focus on what should happen in the supernatural. Just focus on what is the next step after this has happened. Because it will. It will happen. There is no doubt about it. It's written in the scripture, so it will happen. And you, who will bring in the harvest of the ages, you will also go into the rapture, into paradise. Also that is written at the sixth seal. So it will happen. The timing, we do not know. The exact timing. We can have a time frame. As we see now, the escape of the children will be at hand now. We also know that the sixth seal will be around this and this time frame. But the exact day, nobody will know. And we will also not get a sign. These people now, who will go into the escape of the innocent, they have the sign of, uh, of Noah. But when, we, when our time comes for the rapture into paradise, there will be no sign given to us. There is no sign. But we know that it will happen and we will be prepared and we have fulfilled our purpose and our destiny to bring in the harvest of the ages. And we have done our duty as a bondservant to the to God the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Brothers and sisters, be blessed in the name of the Lord, and I hope I can bring you more exciting videos like this about the conduits that will lead to heaven. Have a great day, and I hope I will see you in all the next videos and in the next Daily Prophetic Words. Maranatha.